Hello and welcome back to Clownfish TV. I am Geeky Sparkles and I am here with you today by myself because Neon is not available right now. So we're going to talk about a situation that has arisen where a Twitch streamer has faced harassment to the place they put a Twitter video up um, pretty much sobbing about the crap they've gotten over a misunderstanding that some of these activists have had with them streaming Hogwarts Legacy and on the platform that they were streaming it on. Um, I'm gonna try to be good. This is my second take because the first one I was so angry. I will just leave it at that. I was really angry and I'm still gonna be angry but I'm gonna to try to be a little bit less angry in this one. So you might wanna turn your volume down just in case I slip and start getting angry and loud, which is a total possibility when it comes to me. Before we get into it any further, please like and subscribe. Please share, uh, you know, click for notif ring the bell for notifications. Um, make sure you're still subscribed because a lot of times you know people subscribe and then they're somehow unsubscribed and they don't know why we are at 294,000 we're close to 295,000 we're trying to get over 300,000 so um any help will be appreciated um okay let's get into this because it's very upsetting um it's hard for me too when i see this kind of stuff because I'm normally a person, uh, I'm actually a very nice person. People think I'm this horrible raging bench and I'm really, really not. I'm actually really friendly to people. I'm really easy to get along with. I'm very nice to others. I am not a nasty person. However, when I see people be bullied or harassed unfairly, uh, the uh, that part of me that's like, I'm very, um, I can't stand injustice. I just, I cannot, I just can't do it. That's the reason we have a channel is because the injustice is, is off the charts and we cannot just sit by and do nothing. Uh, I, I'm a Gryffindor house. That's probably part of the reason why I'm very like, you know, Ugh. so I'm trying to take deep breaths because I'm so, so angry about this. Um, people are upset about the situation with Hogwarts Legacy. I think you could summarize everything by saying people are upset because that's what's going on. Uh, there's a lot of people who, who are mad about the game and about, you know, it being Harry Potter, JK Rowling, who really wasn't involved with the game and all this other crap. And they're allowed to be angry and they're allowed to feel the way they feel. The problem isn't that. The problem is when this crosses over to the place where you think everybody else has to feel the same way as you or they're a terrible person. When there's bullying and harassment and things and I'm so angry. I'm, like, I'm to the place where I'm trying not to cry. And it's not because I'm sad. It's just because I'm so angry. I'm just so angry that it's make, making me want to cry. And I'm trying very hard to stay as calm as possible um, on this video. And it's very, very hard. But we have these groups, and they're a very small group, who are going around and they're targeting and harassing other people for playing the game they don't like. And look. If you, you have the right to not play it, you have the right to feel how you want, you have the, like, the right to vote with your wallet. I mean, I encourage people to vote with their wallets. You have that right. You do not have the right to go around and harass other people and to, you know, threaten them and dox them and, you know, drive them to tears in a video, especially when it's somebody who, who from my understanding, usually fosters a very positive um, environment when they do these, these Twitch videos and things. It's just disheartening and, and quite frankly, it's bullshit. It's bullshit. And sadly, what I'm seeing and a trend I've been seeing, because I've been on the receiving end of this for a long time, is that the people who are demanding that you show respect, the people that are demanding that you show acceptance, the people that are demanding that, you know, you accept everything they say and you do what they say are usually the most toxic, vile, bullying pieces of garbage I've ever seen. They will harass people for like not doing art the way they want. And they'll tell people to kill themselves and they'll send threats and they'll do everything they can to undermine people to try to, you know, if you search that person, they're trying to bring up these things. Oh, they're racist. They're a terrible person. They're transphobic, whatever. They're trying very, very hard to discredit that person. Uh, they call them Nazis for no reason to the place where we've made the word mean nothing. They are just vile, 
shitty human beings. And some of them, you know, I get they're just they're hurting inside. So they're taking it out on everybody else. And I don't I don't like seeing people being in pain. I really, truly don't. But you being in pain doesn't give you a right to do the things that you do. It, you, if you want to make change, you go out into the real world. You don't sit behind your keyboard and you hide wherever you're hiding and telling people, yeah, you need to kill yourself, you know, or whatever. You need to get your ass out there and actually try to do, make change in the real world. But you don't want to do that because you don't, you want to sit there and talk all this shit when you're hiding behind a keyboard and no one can see you, but you sure as hell won't do it when they're in your face or in your face to face with these people. Cause at the end of the day, a lot of you are just fucking cowards. Anyway, this person, a similar rare person, apparently received a lot of harassment because they were streaming Hogwarts Legacy. And while they were streaming Hogwarts Legacy, um, I guess people were putting the word like trans and they were just putting that in the chat. Like, you know, they do this. They did it with She-Ra. When you watch the She-Ra thing and you go to like to, to the uh, Rotten Tomatoes or the different places they were talking about it, people would just put five stars, lesbians, you know, and things like that, which is stupid. And, you know, that means you didn't even watch a show. You're just giving it five stars because of, you know, diversity and inclusion points and agenda. And I guess people were making comments like that. And, and there was a filter uh, on their, their Twitch stream that kicked it out because it could be, you know, could potentially be harmful. Because the things are being kicked out, people then decided that this person must be deliberately censoring them and being against them for you know, hiding the word, even though they didn't know about it. And they went to Twitter and started saying vile, vile, vile things, which is why Neon keeps saying we need to start suing people more. Okay. I don't necessarily agree with him. I think sometimes there's things you, you can't really sue for. But I get the, the the thought process. It's like something needs to be done to stop this because that's what these people do. And it's harming others. And it's not cool. Just be, And then they, they're they going on ruining people's careers because they don't like, like you know, a comment they made or a game they play. Or they don't like them because they don't like a cartoon they like or something like that. And, and I get where he's coming from. I just don't know if suing everybody all the time is the right answer. Anyway. I'm trying very hard to stay calm because I really just want to start screaming and calling people names right now. So here is the story, uh, one of the places we found it. And they're saying that uh, fellow streamers were harassed and abused for streaming the game. Silver Veil decided to implement Twitches because she saw the people were being harassed. So she put the, the, the auto mod on um, to try to prevent that, okay? So then people went over to Twitter and, or, yeah, Twitter and started causing shit storm over there on twitter so what she said was basically the level two mod just kicked the stuff out this is true i can tell you for a fact this is true because i know in our videos there's often times where there are comments that we don't see um if they have certain words in them they're automatically sent to a folder or wherever they're sent um because they are considered you know toxic or abusive or whatever and we might not ever see them or if we do see them, we don't check it very often. So we don't, you know, we could click on it manually and say, yes, post it. But a lot of times we don't even check it, to be honest. Um, we do streams on, um, we know we do ours on YouTube. When we do streams, I know there's times where usually the, the chat is going by so fast and we don't have a mod. So we usually can't do anything about it. People will post things and they'll be held for review because they, you know, say, and sometimes it's something simple like boobies or something. Like, it's like, sometimes there's words in there. I'm just like, why are you holding that for review? But they do. So apparently on Twitch, when you have a level two review, words trans and gay by themselves um, fall under that moderation filter. So they they just block them out. People have complained to us before, like, why did you not post my comment? And it's like, or why did you delete my comment? And it's not even us. It's just YouTube filters it out. We had, hadn't even seen the comment. Um, and there's a reason why people don't read comments when it comes to this kind of shit. So... Um, it's getting pretty bad. And this person was very upset. Uh, I'm not going to play the, the, their comment. It's on Twitter. Very, very upset. They're sobbing. Um, you can even see like through the comments here, people are very, very, you know, it, it seems like a very nice place or they're trying very hard to be accepting of others. Um, they said that uh, I've received so many death threats and harassments and doxing people doxing my friends and like so much horrible, vile things for streaming a fucking video game. Uh, again, if you don't want to play the game, you don't have to play the game. No one's making you play the game. If other people want to play the game, it's their right to play the game. If you, these are people you interact with normally. Why do you care if they play the game? Is it going to change anything? 
No, the only thing that's changing by you behaving like that is you're making people more leery of you. And a lot of times the people that are doing the most damage, they're out there screaming the most, that are out there behind this kind of behavior, usually don't even identify in the way they're like allies. They're not even the people that they're supposedly protecting. And all it's doing is causing more division and more harm. And what's happening is um, there are a lot of people who do identify that way, who you do not speak for, who want to play Hogwarts legacy. And they're afraid. They're hiding that they have it because they're afraid that their friends are going to harass them. It's like, they're not your friends then. Find better friends. These people are not your friends. Your real friends would understand that you have a, it's your choice to play the game. You didn't feel that, that, you know, that you thought it was blown up, blown up a portion. You didn't feel that it was something you should boycott. And considering how you're the one that identifies that way, they should fucking step off. Okay. This comes to the place where we have, you know, articles on how to hide your, your Hogwarts legacy achievements or how to hide that you're playing the game because people are so, um, toxic about this game and they're so, got, they had websites dedicated to who was streaming it where so you knew who to harass which is targeted harassment they took it down but they were literally trying to get people targeted harassment on people and they go for people they know they can get to the most the people that will cry the people that you know are you know you tell are nice people they think that they have they, they have power over because these people who demand respect who demand you know to be seen who demand that you do what they say and, and respect them have no respect for you and we see it all the time um, the people that were screaming about us covering things me not liking Shira for example got so much uh, horrible messages from that um, we'll talk about that in a minute because it comes up in this article um, there was you know. Uh, there was a place uh, that they had a rape poll about me, about would you rape her and let make her cuck husband watch? These are the people, right? I don't even use the term. I'm only quoting what they said. I don't even use those, term those terminology. They were using it. And then they're like going on about how they're offended. You don't, you, you're not siding with me. You're a terrible, shitty person. These are the people who, when you don't like a movie or TV show, you're automatically a Nazi or you're a racist, misogynist, whatever, because they have to make you... Uh, since they can't see you and you're just a, a, a voice they hear or they're just, you know, you're not somebody they're going to meet in person. You're just, they're behind a keyboard. They have to make you something you're not so that they feel better about themselves. And it's a them problem. Uh, all these people um, are terrible, terrible, horrible bullies and they must have no control in their life or feel like they don't, that they feel they have to go around and harass everybody else because they get some kind of power from it. They get some kind of, you know, adrenaline rush or dopamine hit from being absolutely horrible shit lords to somebody else to try to make themselves feel like they've done something. But what you're doing is the opposite of what you're claiming you want to do. So um, we're going to go to this other article. This person who's talking about all the threats she has gotten from all this. And she's talking um, down here about, here's some of the Discord screenshots that she posted um, addressing the controversy. Thank you for asking here instead of dogpiling random tweets. It's not the word trans by itself is held by Automod review. It's Twitch default auto mob behavior. I haven't banned any words in chat other than the ones used only for harassment. I don't know where people are getting these ideas about me, but it's really hurtful. I'll dress up formally when I feel okay enough to talk to anyone. I didn't know this was Twitch auto mob behavior because no one has randomly said only that word in chat. It's been used in sentences just fine. I've always been supportive and understanding of the LGBT community. So all of this has been a lot to deal with. As I said before, I'll dress it formally, but I want this to stay a cozy place for people to relax and make friends. Okay. I'm trying very hard not to lose my shit right now. And, I'm, and, and if I sound like I'm going to cry, it's not because I'm sad. It's because I'm so fucking pissed off. Um, this is how, this is what happens to Geeky when she holds it in. Um, here's what she said about the trauma of play, being a troll for playing the game. Hate breeds hate. It doesn't help anyone. Agreed. And I don't know. I got to the point where I was sick of seeing hatred all over and guilt tripping on random art tweets. Um, yeah, I, I, I mentioned it in the first take of the video I did, which I don't have here. But yes, we've seen this kind of behavior, the attacking behavior, the doxing, the trolling, the harassment. When people just like don't color a character the way they think they should. You know, I see, a, I see characters all the time that people redraw as a different ethnicity than that they usually are, especially if they're like a light skinned character and they draw them in darker skin. Don't care. A lot of times they're really cute. 
I'm like, that's their choice. It's their art. It's their interpretation. It's not a big deal. But so to help me, God, if you draw a character they think should be a certain shade of, you know, brown and you draw it like a slightly lighter shade, they will descend upon you. And it's ridiculous. And I've seen them go after people like that Japanese artist drawing a character that's a character from their own culture or a character that's their own character and they lose their shit over it because it isn't the way they think they should draw it. It's like you, for the people who are so obsessed with cultural appropriation, you sure as hell want to culturally appropriate everyone else. It's crap. They're talking about like some of the different the bigoted hate filled comments. And then they're talking about um, another thing about, you know, how much they got comments that were like threatening and very hateful. And I have been there. I understand. Um, and a lot of times it's where something stupid, like I got horrible comments over not liking stupid she not liking the show. I got told I was a bad mother before the show ever came out because I said I didn't like the character design. Okay. Um, I have gotten told to kill myself. I have been told my kids should kill themselves. I have been told all kinds of stuff. Uh, we actually have files full of stuff from people uh, about the things they said about us or to us. There have been boards and threads dedicated to lying about us who, like I said, there was a rape poll about who would rape me. Same group also posted pictures of our children and then sat there and proceeded to make fun of them, mock them, that kind of stuff. Now it hasn't gotten as bad as like that umbrella guy where, you know, they tried to call CPS or CYS or whatever on them and all that. But we've, you know, they do whatever they can to think to threaten you. People that are, you know, they're like talking about, it's a threat to these people. You play in that game, it's literally killing people. Are the same people literally telling people to kill themselves because they don't like the way they colored a Pokemon character. I mean, I, I can't even rationalize it. Like, I can't even wrap my head around it. They're yelling and screaming about how, you know, by you playing this game, it's killing trans people. Why they simultaneously tell people... And some of them will be trans because they want to play the game. How they should go fucking kill themselves for playing this game. I, I just, the, the, there's no logic here at all. It's just threats and bullying and they're trying to rule by fear. The problem with ruling by fear is it never works out very well. And does it? And the only reason we do what we do on our channel and the reason we have a channel is because of this bullshit. We call out this bullshit when we see it. If I see people being bullied and harassed, I'm going to say something. And I would argue with the same thing on the other side. If you see people who don't want to play Hogwarts Legacy, but they're not out, actually out there, you know, actively trying to harm people and they're just saying, hey, I don't want to play it because I think it harms trans people. That's their right to say that. They're not harming anyone. They're not threatening anyone. If they're not doing anything wrong, you don't get to go threaten them for not playing the game. I would argue it's the same on, on both sides, except I'm going to say it's these people, these far extreme activist types that are make, taking it far, far, far further than anybody else is taking it. Um, she said, it's literally they gang up on so many different tweets about Valentine's Day or art or automated posts. Like they want to post so much negativity everywhere. And I just got sick of it. So I block people. It's a sit for people that are so much going on about how you have to behave a certain way. You have to accept people. They are the most unaccepting, negative, disturbing, bullying asshats I've ever seen in my life. And if you go to Twitter, especially like Gina Krona, for example, when they told her to put pronouns in her bio and she said, no, she understands why she respects under why she, you know, is completely on their side about, you know, anti-bullying, but she wasn't going to put pronouns in her bio because she didn't feel comfortable doing that. Then you saw them call her horrible names like um zoe sadana when she stood up for chris pratt because she knows him personally they people that were supposed to be you know all about you know oh we're against you know this you know terrible things and we're against misogyny and racism and all this crap turned to her and called her racist names that i would never even repeat because she didn't do what they wanted and the thing is you have to stand up to people like that because if you don't send people like that um they're just going to it continues it just continues and continues and continues and I, I, I will not sit back and watch this kind of bullshit. And that's what this is. When you're driving these people to tears and like they're scared and that because they played a fucking video game that you didn't like. Meanwhile, you probably are buying products right and left that relate to companies that are doing genuinely shitty things. They're out there like, you know, killing people, taking water like Nestle and saying it's a, it's not a right and things like that. You know, you go to Universal to the parks or you do anything with Warner Brothers, you watch HBO or any of that stuff. You're technically in a roundabout way supporting these people that you hate. 
So you literally have to lock yourself in a room and, and not consume anything because I guarantee you, no matter what it is, it's going to be tied in some way to something you don't agree with. But that's just the way the, the world is. I am sorry, but hiding behind a keyboard and telling people should, they should kill themselves or harassing them about things that they didn't even control, like it was a mod that did, it was a mod bot that did it. It wasn't their fault. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. And I'm so much more calm on this take. The other take um, it was so bad. I was, <laughs> I was swearing and screaming. I was so mad and I still am mad. Like I'm, this, my voice is like this because I'm trying very hard not to cry because I'm so angry and I'm holding it in, which isn't a good thing for me, but I'm so angry because if, if I would let it out, I would not be allowed to post this video. So anyway, uh, like and subscribe. Um, do not let people bully other people, but do not be a bully yourself either. I mean, like I said, if somebody, you see somebody is actively harming other people, harassing, being super toxic like these people, yes, call it out. That's what we try to do. If someone's just saying, hey, I'm not buying the game because I don't, I don't feel right buying it because I don't agree with what JK Rowling said, they have that right to do that. If they're not actively harming others, harassing others, threatening others, you know, they're well within their rights to not buy the game. Um, I don't agree with everything JK Rowling said either, but I don't also want to be called a, you know, menstruating person. I don't want to be called a vulva person. I want to be called a woman. Just like trans women want to be called women. Trans men want to be called men. They don't want to be called a menstruating person. I can see why they don't want to be called that either. Just if, if, if you have to accept identifiers that other people tell you that you have to accept for them, then they have to understand and respect yours as well. And that's why I have a problem. It's the lack of respect. It's the, the double standard, hypo hypocrisy, bullshit. And then they go on Twitter and yell about how other people are harassing and keeping them down when they do stuff that's far worse. It's, it's not okay. It's unacceptable. And we will not put up with it. So anyway, like and subscribe. We'll talk to you later. Bye.